thank you very much for the introduction uh, and for, for giving me the floor. Uh, at the very beginning, I would like to welcome you in the premises of the Czech Technical University in Prague uh, on this occasion of, uh, of having, um, uh, having a series of uh, Cessnet conference, uh, the conference of the largest uh, e-infrastructure in the Czech Republic and, and one of the pillars of, of the uh, Czech e-infrastructure um, um, backbone for for uh, excellent research, technology development, and, and uh, innovation. At the very beginning, uh, I would like to I would like to uh, follow up to the information you have been provided with uh, concerning the mission of the Minister of Education, Youth, and Sports, uh, which um, by which I would like to explain why I'm here. Uh, why is it me who is uh, standing here in front of you, uh, opening this conference? Uh, the Minister of Education, Youth and Sports, according to the national legislation of the Czech Republic, is the national funding authority of the Czech Republic for research organizations, mainly the higher education institutions, but also other research organizations, including Cessnet. Um, furthermore, our ministry is responsible for policymaking and funding of the so-called large research infrastructures which are basically the open access based facilities of the Czech Republic which are provided to, to the wider research community on the basis of open access policy. Uh, so uh, this is our role and mission concerning the CESNET. Uh, furthermore, uh, CESNET is also a recipient of institutional support for long-term strategy development of, uh, of uh, its organization. So, uh, so uh, the ministry is, is uh, in, in a double role um, in, in its relation to CESNET. It, it is a funding provider of a large research infrastructure project and it is also a funding provider uh, for the basic institutional funding. Um, um, moreover, uh, as uh, has been already mentioned, uh, our ministry is also a uh, public authority of the Czech Republic, which is uh, responsible for uh, international cooperation um, in R&D of our country. So uh, we are the body which would uh, most likely be uh, joining international R&D organizations uh, and uh, international research infrastructure consortia like this, uh, which are funded under the, uh, under the umbrella of uh, ERIC uh, legal framework at the European level. Uh, so this is our mission, this is our role. I think that we have very, very close interaction with Cessnet. Uh, we have had uh, this, this uh, close interaction over the past years uh, and uh, I'm very happy that we are somehow fulfilling, hopefully successfully, um, our mission towards Cessnet in, in all these um, areas. Um, uh, at the beginning, I would like to uh, uh, make a brief summary uh, why the uh, year of 2018 has been very important for, for our ministry as well for, for Cessnet. Uh, in a way, it was a crucial year uh, because uh, in 2017, uh, Cessnet um, uh, underwent um, a, a very complex international assessment of its uh, facilities which are provided uh, as an infrastructure of the Czech Republic and uh, it's not a surprise and it's not a secret that the outcome of this evaluation was very, very positive. Uh, since 2014, when we started the uh, rounds of international evaluation of Czech large research infrastructures, uh, Cessnet has been uh, one of the top ranked research infrastructures in the Czech Republic and it uh, remains at this position for, for many years. So I think it's, it's a place to congratulate to Cessnet really to, to keep up uh, uh, with, uh, with um, uh, the top class development uh, of infrastructures uh, in the European and worldwide uh, landscape because these are uh, the services that are provided to all of you users of uh, Cessnet at the educational research development and innovation level. Uh, so uh, this was the, the, the evaluation of, of a large research infrastructure called Cessnet. It was very successful and, uh, and um, last year was very crucial for Cessnet because the government of the Czech Republic adopted a decision on public funding of Cessnet in the next um, uh, forthcoming uh, multi-annual multi -annual financial framework until 2022. So, so uh, this is very important for Cessnet because it provides a kind of 
of long-term stability for, for uh, its operations as well for uh, the future investment development. Uh, speaking, on, uh, speaking about the, the uh, further technology development, um, um, the investment costs which are planned by Sasnet infrastructure for the years to come uh, will be uh, in the next multi-annual financial framework covered uh, by using the European Structural and Investment Funds within the Operational Programme Research, Development and Education. We have devoted um, altogether 1.1 uh, billion Czech crowns for, for these kind of investments, uh, which equals uh, more or less 40, 45 million euros for, for these three years from 2020 to 2022. It's, a, it's an allocation which is devoted not only for Cessnet, but also other pillars of infrastructure of the Czech Republic, Czech Republic which is the HPC capacity, ID4 innovations, and uh, Serit Scientific Cloud. Uh, but uh, I, I, I believe that this allocation is, is, is um, uh, more or less fine, convenient for, for the further development of Cessnet infrastructure and other pillars of the, of the Czech infrastructure and that it will provide sufficient fine, uh, funding for, for uh, enhancing the technologies that are providing for, for uh, the Cessnet uh, users. Uh, so, um, so this is the first message of, of, of mine, uh, the message that Cessnet has been approved by the government of the Czech Republic for public funding until 2022. Uh, furthermore, uh, within 2018, uh, uh, there was uh, a pilot evaluation uh, of Cessnet uh, being a research organization. Um, uh, and this pilot evaluation was, uh, was uh, focused uh, on, on uh, um, a broader scope of Cessnet activities which cover not only uh, the, servers, the service which is provided to the user community, but also the, in the in-house R&D. So, um, so this kind of evaluation was, was kind of pilot in the Czech Republic. It was, uh, uh, it was uh, developed under a brand new methodology called Methodica 2017+. Uh, and um, um, and uh, Cessnet was also very successful in this in this evaluation. So this is a very positive message for for the whole Czech research infrastructures landscape. And I believe it is a very positive message for the further development of uh, of Cessnet uh, activities uh, uh, to be developed in in the Czech Republic and the European uh, European uh, landscape. Uh, last not but not least, uh, I would like to. I would like to notice that uh, that uh, uh, since two, uh, since 2020 uh, there will be a kind of uh, a kind of uh, new approach in the Czech Republic towards e infrastructures because for their uh, very first time we will be instead of competing between individual parts of e infrastructure of national e infrastructure we will be rather integrating the facilities uh, under the umbrella of uh, one single one consortium so this is going to happen since 2020 and Cessna jointly with uh, HPC uh, facility ID4 innovations and uh, Serit uh, scientific cloud uh, will will join uh, within a single consortia. So I, I believe, and and we all believe in the ministry that this is um, this is something very promising for the future. Uh, because, uh, as I said, instead of competing between each other, also for funding, we'll have a single sil single virtual organization uh, which will develop uh, synergies, complementarities uh, in in addressing the needs of of uh, uh, yours. Uh, users of uh, e-infrastructure Cessnet. So uh, this I wanted to del deliver you at the beginning of, of, this, con of this conference. Uh, I noticed that you have a very busy program over the next two, two days, so I will not be very long, won't take much of your time. Uh, I wish you a very fruitful uh, discussion during this conference, very enriching uh, debates, and uh, I hope that uh, we'll be able to, to uh, to uh, see each other also next year, uh, because as, as I understood, this is an annual conference of Cessnet, uh, and, and uh, it is always great pleasure, pleasure to me to, to attend it. So thank you very much for your attention, and have a very frightful uh, two-day conference. Thank you. <laughs> thank you to Mr. Lukáš Levák. Uh, máte někdo nějaké otázky na pana Leváka? Pokud ne, tak já si dovolím mít otázku. 
A jak se Česká republika stojí v mezinárodní konkurenci? Vy už jste tady naznačil určitou míru chvály, tak jak si vlastně stojíme? Well, um, uh, I will answer in English. I think that, that yeah. So I will just I will okay. just okay. translate my question to English. Uh, how does the Czech Republic stand in the international competition? So thank you very much for the question. I think that this is a very important question because uh, speaking about the infrastructures uh, and particular e infrastructures, it's not only important to provide the adequate services on the national level, but it's uh, it's very important to be interconnected uh, internationally. So I'm very proud that that Cessnet and other pillars of Czech infrastructure are are interconnected at the international level within all the important networks that are developed at the European uh, worldwide uh, uh, level. I think that, that uh, we are, um, our competitiveness is quite high um, and uh, that we are really able to provide services to, to the user communities that are compatible to, to uh, the services provided in other countries in Europe. So uh, I think that the level of internationalization of, of Czech, uh, Czech uh, research infrastructure is, is, is very, very good. Uh, uh, of course, we have to have to cherish the development of these activities and and force them in the future. But we have a definitely a solid basis to build on. I actually have a question connected to this because what are the plans of uh, financing of large infrastructures after the year 2022? Uh, it's a it's a little bit tricky question, <laughs> but uh, but uh, maybe of interest. <laughs> but it's of course it's it's a very important question, and uh, uh, I'm a kind of uh, kind of person uh, who uh, doesn't like to you know uh, uh, celebrate a success. I'm always worried about further development of of the landscape, and uh, this is exactly the situation where we are now. Uh, on one hand. Uh, we have uh, the governmental approval for funding of large research infrastructures until 2022, following their interim evaluation. On the other one, uh, we have a complex uh, situation ahead uh, because uh, after 2022, there will be uh, a new multi-annual financial framework. There will be uh, new new scenarios. Uh, uh, both at the national and European level, um, you might have noticed that I that I that I mentioned that uh, the investment cost of uh, Cessnet and other Czech uh, infrastructures are covered by using the European structural investment funds. There is a big question mark uh, towards future because we are not sure how the uh, cohesion policy of EU will be shaped in the years to come. Uh, so maybe the state budget expenditures will have to accommodate to the situation uh, where we are, uh, where, where it is necessary to cover the investment costs also by using the state budget expenditures. So, so uh, this is a kind of threat. But on the other hand, uh, we are uh, right now, uh, we, we, we are beginning to develop uh, our uh, future strategy so that there are no, no shocks, no, uh, no turbulences in, in the research infrastructures landscape and that we are able to provide them with the funding resources they need to cover both the uh, operations uh, and the investment costs. Thank you very much. A máte teď jedinečnou možnost zeptat se a, pana ředitele, na cokoliv vás zajímá? Pokud vás nezajímá, tak já ještě mám jednu doplňující otázku. A sice, jestli se plánuje Česká republika zapojit do některých evropských výzkumných center, jako například nového urychlovače v CERN. Uh, well, we, we have been a member state of CERN uh, and, and uh... Yeah, yeah, we have been a member state of this organization for for uh, since its uh, since its foundation. So I, I think, uh, as I said in general, we uh, the, the the landscape of research infrastructures in the Czech Republic is is. Uh, uh, very internationalized and we are quite able to participate in all major uh, European research infrastructure uh, R&D uh, R&D organizations it's um, um, it's 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 very good um, it's it's a very good there's very good situation in Czech Republic we have a member state not only of CERN but other international R&D organizations that are uh, founded under the international public law but um, at the same time uh, we have been 
been participated uh, in, in a number of European research infrastructure consortia uh, that are established at the, um, at the European level. And of course, uh, there are also our research infrastructures networks that don't uh, have a formalized international legal framework, but we are participating in them via our research community, which is, for example, the, the, the network of HPC facilities, Price, and other ones. So, so I think that, that, that the situation is very good in the Czech Republic. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, the Czech Republic, and I'm very proud of it, uh, is, is, um, uh, is um, at the S3 level, uh, a state um, um, that is presented as, as a good practice example in, in, in the region, not only in the region of Central and Eastern Europe, but also compared to, to the Western Europe. So, so I, I would say that, that we are in a fair position, uh, we are competitive uh, uh, to the Western Europe and we are a valuable partner for, for uh, our partners from, from the whole EU. Is that right? <laughs> I hope so. That was uh, that was a nice ending, <coughs> though. Thank you so much. Děkuji moc panu Lukáši Levákovi z ministerstva školství.